Ever wondered why the Leaning Tower of Pisa tilts the way it does? The answer might surprise you. Let's embark on an intriguing journey to unravel the mystery of this architectural marvel. Famously known for its unintentional tilt, our story begins in the heart of Italy in the vibrant city of Pisa. Picture a time in the distant past, the late 12th century to be precise, when the city's skyline was about to be forever changed. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, or Torre Pendente di Pisa as it's known in Italian, is not just an ordinary tower, it is a freestanding bell tower, a campanile, of the Cathedral of the City of Pisa. It is the third oldest structure in the city's cathedral square, Piazza del Duomo, following the cathedral and the Pisa Baptistry. This tower, which now stands at a height of about 185 feet, wasn't meant to lean. The lean, in fact, was a flaw, an error, a miscalculation that turned into an iconic symbol recognized worldwide. But what caused this lean? Why does the leaning tower of Pisa lean? Well, the answer to that question isn't as straightforward as you might think. It involves a blend of history, geography, architecture, and a bit of luck. A series of events and circumstances led to the creation of the world's most famous leaning tower. And the mystery behind this lean has puzzled architects, engineers, and historians for centuries. The leaning tower of Pisa has stood tall, albeit at an angle, through wars, earthquakes, restorations, and more. It is a testament to the architectural prowess of the past and a symbol of resilience. And yet, the mystery of its lean remains. Why does it lean? What forces are at play? And how has it managed to stay standing for so long? These are the questions we will delve into as we journey through the captivating history of this unique structure. Stay tuned as we unravel the true cause behind the tower's infamous lean. The Leaning Tower of Pisa wasn't always leaning. In fact, it started as a grand architectural project. This story of ambition and innovation harks back to the 12th century when the foundations of the tower were laid in the heart of Pisa, Italy. The idea was to build a bell tower for the city's cathedral that would reflect the wealth and power of Pisa, a maritime republic rivaling Venice and Genoa. The project was conceived by Pisan architect Bonanno Pisano, who envisioned a freestanding bell tower of unprecedented height and elegance. The first stone was set in the year 1174, marking the beginning of a construction journey that would span nearly two centuries. The tower's construction was divided into three stages, each marked by a halt due to the city's ongoing military conflicts and the tower's developing tilt. The first stage, under the guidance of Pisano, saw the completion of the base and the first few floors. However, during this initial phase, the soft, unstable subsoil beneath the tower began to show signs of distress, causing the structure to tilt. After a hiatus of nearly a hundred years, construction resumed in the late 13th century. The second phase of construction was led by Giovanni di Simone, who attempted to correct the tilt by building the upper floors with one side taller than the other. This innovative, albeit unsuccessful, attempt to straighten the tower added a subtle curve to the structure, further enhancing its unique charm. The final stage of construction, featuring the addition of the bell chamber, was completed in the 14th century. The result was a striking structure standing tall at over 55 meters and adorned with eight stories of arcaded galleries. But even with its grand design, the tower began to tilt. Why? Let's delve deeper. Soon after the construction began, the tower started to lean, but why? The answer, my friends, lies deep beneath the surface in the very soil upon which the Tower of Pisa was built. You see, the ground was composed of a soft, unstable mixture of clay, fine sand and shells. This composition, while picturesque, was far from ideal for supporting the weight of a monument destined to reach 60 meters in height. When the foundation for the tower was laid in the 12th century, the builders didn't anticipate the trouble that lay ahead. The base, a mere three meters deep, was woefully inadequate for the task at hand. As the construction progressed, the southern side of the tower began to sink into the soft, yielding soil, giving the tower its characteristic lean. Upon noticing the initial signs of tilting, the architects attempted to correct it. They tried adding extra columns on the sinking side, 
And when the construction reached the third story, they even tried to counterbalance the lean by constructing one side taller than the other. An ingenious solution, you might think, but alas, it was not enough. Despite these interventions, the tower continued to tilt. The weight of the additional floors only served to push the foundation further into the soft earth. The more they built, the more the tower leaned. It was a vicious cycle, a dance between human ambition and the relentless force of gravity. The engineers of the time, with their limited understanding of soil mechanics and foundation engineering, were in a constant battle with the leaning tower. For every move they made, the ground beneath the tower responded in kind, ensuring the lean remained a constant visible reminder of the challenges they faced. Despite attempts to correct it, the tilt persisted. But was it all due to poor soil composition? Well, the truth may surprise you as we delve deeper into the mystery of the leaning tower of Pisa. Over centuries, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has survived where others might have fallen. How? This is a question that has intrigued many a historian and engineer alike. Let's delve into the past and see how this architectural marvel has withstood the test of time. Throughout its existence, the tower has witnessed a multitude of events that could have led to its downfall. Wars for one have raged around it. World War II in particular comes to mind. The city of Pisa found itself in the crosshairs of artillery fire and bombing raids. And yet the tower stood firm, unyielding, as if mocking the destructive forces around it. Natural disasters have also been a constant threat. Earthquakes, not uncommon in Italy, have shaken the region numerous times. It's a testament to the tower's resilience that it has managed to weather these seismic disturbances. But how has it managed to do so? Engineers believe the soft soil that caused the tower to lean in the first place might have provided a sort of cushion during these tremors, absorbing the shock and sparing the structure. Fast forward to the modern era and the tower's survival is no longer left to chance. In the late 20th century, experts undertook a massive stabilization project. They removed soil from underneath the high side of the tower, allowing it to slowly straighten. Steel cables were also installed to hold the tower in place. The result? The Leaning Tower of Pisa is now stable for at least another 300 years, so the tower's survival is not just a matter of luck or divine intervention. It's a combination of the tower's unique construction, the soil it stands on, and the tireless efforts of dedicated individuals committed to preserving this iconic piece of history. The tower's survival is nothing short of a miracle, or is it? Well, as we've seen, there's more to this story than meets the eye. It's a tale of survival against all odds, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring strength of this remarkable structure. Now, let's solve the mystery we opened with. Why does the Leaning Tower of Pisa lean? In truth, the answer is a curious blend of human error and natural phenomena. The tower's lean is primarily due to the soil composition of the location where it was erected. The foundation of the tower was laid on a mixture of clay, fine sand and shells, an unstable combination that proved inadequate to support the structure's weight. But the ground alone does not shoulder the blame. The foundation of the tower was also insufficient. Built a mere three meters deep, it lacked the necessary depth to provide the building with a steady grip in the ground. As the construction progressed, the softer side of the foundation began to compress under the weight, leading to the tower's distinctive tilt However, here's where the tale takes an intriguing turn. This very lean, the result of human miscalculation and unstable soil, is ironically what helped the tower survive numerous earthquakes that have rattled the region over the centuries. This phenomenon, known as dynamic soil structure interaction, is what comes into play. The lean of the tower and the softness of the soil interact during seismic activity. The vibrational characteristics of the soil are altered due to the presence of a significant structure like the tower. This interaction results in the soil and the structure vibrating at the same frequency, reducing the impact of the earthquake on the tower. So the tower's infamous lean, initially a flaw, has morphed into its saving grace. The leaning tower of Pisa stands today, not in spite of its tilt, but because of it. So, the Leaning Tower of Pisa leans not just because of a failure, but also because of a strange twist of fate. 
It's a testament to the unpredictability and beauty of architecture and history.